So, in our last video, we introduced the concept of matter. Uh, matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. And since everything that you'll ever come into contact with ever is basically matter, people, animals, plants, houses, books, uh, your friends, at some point, if it's all made of matter, you'd expect it to be the same somehow. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about something that we call the atom. I swear my oops, I swear my writing will get better as time goes on. There we go. Now, the atom is a fundamental particle of matter, and that is just too much for me to write. So, uh, fundamental particle of matter. We'll just throw that in there. Fundamental particle of matter. Let's take a look at a piece of aluminum foil. Now you can do this at home. Make sure you ask your parents because they might be a little mad if you ruin their aluminum foil. But just tell them it's for learning. It's okay. So let's take a piece of aluminum foil and cut it in half. We got a half piece of aluminum foil here. Let's cut that in half again, mostly. And we'll have a piece like that. We'll cut it in half again. I have an even smaller piece. We'll cut it in half again. And again. And again. And again. And you can see I'm even reaching the limits of what I can do with my little tablet here. Um, once we get. A, Eventually, we're going to get to a point where we can't cut it in half anymore. And that piece, that part, is what we're going to call the atom, the fundamental particle of matter. And just to illustrate what it looks like, I'm going to you draw us a little balloon. So let's get the little nubbin down here, the balloon part. Like I said, I swear I'll get better at these drawings once I'm used to this little tablet. Got the thing there. Let's fill it in with some red. That looks very scary. Okay, so... If you want a balloon to float, you're going to want to fill it with helium. So you've seen helium on the periodic table. H, E, and helium is what you find in balloons that float. Helium is actually lighter than air, and it makes balloons want to float up. So if you take a magnifying glass and look at helium, and it's, this is not literally possible to do because atoms are actually smaller than what light is made of, than light waves. So it's not possible for our eyes to register what it actually looks like with visible light. We're going to have to scan it with what's called a scanning electron microscope. But for our purposes, we're just going to look at the model of the atom. Now, if I want to pick a different color here, we'll see what one molecule of hydrogen looks like. Little positive charges in there. Get some blue ones. Equals. And for the outside, let's go green. There. All right. So this is uh, the model, the modern model of the atom, uh, also referred to as the electron cloud model. Now it has a two parts, two main parts with three sub. Parts. Let me get some black here. And the central part is called the nucleus. And the outside, this green area right here, is called the electron cloud. Good. The nucleus contains two subparts the protons. which are positive, and the neutrons. 
U T R O N S, which are neutral or equal. And the electron cloud contains the particles called electrons. T R O N S, and electrons are negative. So there are two parts to the atom, the cloud and the nucleus, and three subparts, the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. Electrons are negative, protons are positive, and neutrons have no charge, or they're equal. And I think that's good for this video.